How to use the VeriSoft Infusion Set. To begin, you will want to work on a clean surface. Be sure to wash your hands and clean your insertion site. Please refer to your healthcare provider's recommendations when selecting an insertion site. First, remove the contents of your set. Hold the introducer needle with one hand while gently removing the front half of the adhesive backing paper with the other hand. Be careful not to touch the introducer needle when removing the adhesive backing paper. Now, carefully remove the needle guard by first twisting and then pulling. Prepare to insert by pinching the skin at your insertion site with one hand to lift the skin away from the muscle tissue. Now you can insert the cannula. Release the pinch, leaving the cannula and the layer of fat just below the skin surface. With the cannula inserted, secure the front piece of adhesive to your skin by pressing down on the adhesive tape. Next, remove the introducer needle. Place one finger in front of the clear window. Squeeze the sides of the introducer needle with the other hand and pull the introducer needle straight back. If you experience difficulty removing the needle, you may be pressing on the needle with your forefinger. Try straddling the needle with two fingers to secure the adhesive tape while you're pulling the needle out. Now, place a finger in front of the clear window to secure the cannula. Carefully lift up the back of the adhesive tape. Remove the remaining adhesive backing paper. Press the adhesive tape firmly to secure the infusion set. Next, attach the infusion set tubing to the tubing lock connector on the cartridge. Twist the tubing lock clockwise until finger tight and then twist another quarter of a turn to ensure a secure connection. Remove the circular protective cap and fill your tubing according to the instructions in your user guide. When filling tubing, hold the connector needle pointing down. Fill until you see drops of insulin come out of the connector needle. Make sure there are no gaps of air in your tubing to reduce the possibility of interrupted insulin delivery. Never fill your tubing while your infusion set is connected to your body. Next, connect your filled tubing to your infusion set by holding the connector needle at the point where it connects with the tubing. Be sure you have the connector needle right side up to properly connect to the site. Insert it into the cannula housing. You should hear a click when it connects. Fill the cannula with 0.7 units. You are now ready to resume your pump and start delivering insulin. You've successfully completed the insertion. Always check your blood sugar two hours after inserting to make sure it's working properly. You may want to temporarily disconnect from your pump at times such as showering, swimming, and contact sports. To do this, always disconnect from your site by gently squeezing the side tabs and pulling the end of the tubing off the cannula housing while holding the tape with your other finger. Cover the connector needle with a circular protective cap and insert the disconnect cover into the cannula housing until you hear a click. Never disconnect at the tubing lock. To reconnect, remove the circular protective cap. With the needle pointing down, fill the tubing until you see insulin drip from the connector needle. Now, remove the cover from the cannula housing. Place your finger in front of the cannula housing and push the connector needle straight in until you hear a click. We hope you found this video helpful. If you still have questions about infusion sets, please contact customer support at 877-801-6901. They're available 24 hours a day and happy to help.